What's going on guys, Dr. Brute 7 signing in back with another exciting video where I'll be talking about Portmaster. It's an app that allows you to play several PC ports on Linux based systems, which means our Anburnic devices and a whole bunch of other handhelds. Portmaster has been there for quite a bit. A lot of things have changed over the years and things have gotten even more better. Now, as of recently, there's a total of 570 ports that are available on Portmaster. So so if you have any Linux based handheld then expect to experience this awesomeness. The most exciting thing about Portmaster is like so many games are added, so much support, so much compatibility and also the process is very simplified. It's already integrated into the software so all you have to do is just install the custom firmware and portmaster is already there and we just have to go through a simple process okay so let's talk about portmaster real quick i'm gonna start with the interface and then we're gonna talk about how to install some of the games followed by some demonstrations so very first thing that you're gonna make sure of is you are connected to the internet so i already am connected to the internet and then applications portmaster okay so this is the main menu screen of portmaster very simple so let's start with options before we head over into what portmaster has to offer first thing when you first boot up portmaster for the very first time it will install some of the necessary things and if there is an update available you're gonna be prompted to update so just make sure that you are updated to the latest version of portmaster then portmaster will start up so under the options you don't need to tweak around much you can change the language you can select a theme there is a couple of themes that are available all you have to do is just download and install the theme so when you're gonna apply the theme portmaster will do a quick restart in order for the theme to take effect so that's basically it for the interface now under the systems the very first option that says runtime manager now this is very important it contains all the runtime packages and prerequisites in order for these ports to run so just scroll all the way down and hit on download all and it's going to just connect to the internet verify and download all the runtime packages so it's gonna take maybe a minute or two for the process to complete so just patiently wait update ports it's just going to update all the port sources it will refresh the list let's head over to the most important features okay so the very first option that says featured ports. so basically under this you're going to find all the recommended ports portmaster has its own bunch of recommendations so it's like ready to run bangers puzzling puzzles so puzzle games portmaster picks here you're going to find the most sought after and downloaded titles portmaster currently recommends we have stardew valley we have shovel night RAVGL, I don't know what this is, then there's RVGL, we got a PlayStation Vita port of this game as well, Half-Life, Devolution X, which is basically Diablo. Under all ports, you're going to find a mix of all the ports that are available for portmaster that includes two different types of ports one is ready to run ports second are the commercial ports now i'm going to explain that in a little bit so just stay put under this section you're going to find a mix of both the port types i don't know why but they don't have a search option that would have made our lives quite easier there's a whole lot of ports and if we want to search for a specific one there's no option for us to do that but we're gonna make use of whatever we have so you can just tap on the l1 and r1 buttons and that's going to jump from one alphabet to another so basically a b c d just like that this is the only way available to skim through the list ready to run ports are the ports that are available to run right the moment after installation these are the type of ports that are free to use free to play fan made ports you won't need any install game data files like the commercial ports all you have to do is just select the port of your choice show the info and install it that's it ready to run okay so manage ports is basically the section that shows the list of already installed ports through portmaster so i have these bunch of games that are installed already you can show info you can uninstall the game or reinstall the game so that's basically it with portmaster through the device now we're gonna jump right into the website 
all right so we're on portmaster's website what you see is the home page i'll be linking you guys the website you can find it on the description all right so the very first thing that you're gonna see are the number of ports available the total number of ports there is a total of 570 ports as of today it will only increase with time because it's an active and ongoing project right under the available ports you're gonna find the companies the devices that are supported so here's Anbernic, there here's game console which is the r33s retro handheld trimi y pow kitty so just select the console of your choice that of your preference it will filter down the ports that are available for that specific console here is a total of 562 ports available for the rg35 xxh only eight ports less than the total number of 570 which is pretty impressive you can join their discord server and visit their github and if you want to donate show some love and support please do your part now if you look at the top right corner of the website there is a search option if you click on filters you're going to see two drop downs ready to run and files needed so like i've explained while i was demonstrating portmaster on the device ready to run are the list of ports that are ready to install ready to go you install them and you're good to go you know these are free to play ports then and the one says files needed are the commercial ports you can just check or uncheck the boxes to filter them down so these here are the commercial games now if you click on the details of each of these games it's going to give you the installation instructions it says that you need to download the game from this website and then what to place and where to place i'm going to show you guys this one game it's called bot vice now you can buy it either from their website or from steam now i bought this game on steam just right now here you go this here is the installed game so damn it youtube everything is legitimately happening here just don't flag my content so the install instructions are subject to change it's different for each game so for this game it's different for Grand Theft Auto 3 it's a, it's different and for another game for Shredder's Revenge it's gonna be different so, so for this game it says we're gonna have to download the Linux version so in order to do that you're gonna have to bring up the Steam console if you're already running Steam you can bring up the console by clicking on the console tab and that's it or an alternative method would be pressing the Windows and the R key bring up the run command box and here you're gonna type in basically this what is mentioned and it's gonna bring up the steam console now under steam console you're gonna type in this thing that says download depot with the bunch of numbers i just copied it and just pasted on the console you're just gonna paste it over here i already have it downloaded that's why i'm not going to do that process again i was going to start with the download process and it's gonna tell you the location so for me it's in c drive so basically you're gonna have to look for your steam folder and then steam app subfolder head over into the contents folder and find the app number head over into this subfolder and look for the assets folder we're gonna have to copy all the contents that are present inside the assets folder now this is a me thing i personally do this i don't know if it's required or not but if you know better you know better so on your device we're gonna head over to all ports and look for botvice i'm gonna just download and install the required game files that's going to set up the environment for the port there we go botvice is here just press on a and just press on install it's going to download and install the required game data file so it says botvice installed successfully all right now we're just going to close off portmaster shut down the system real quick and jump right into the computer obviously right after taking out the sd card okay once your sd card shows up you're gonna look for the ports folder head over into the ports folder and look for the bot vice folder now this folder will only get created if you perform the step that i've shown that's why i always recommend installing the game data files specific to that port those are the system files for that specific game so always it's recommended at least if you're following my tutorial i would recommend you to download the game data files which are specific to the game through portmaster i would recommend doing it through the device itself let's head over into the bot vice folder and now head over into the assets folder of our installed game copy all the contents 
head over into the game data folder and paste it over there as easy as that so while we're at it i'm just gonna show you guys another game it's grand theft auto 3 now grand theft auto 3 it's not available on steam i already own this game for like a long time back so i already have the game install game file i mean you're gonna have to buy the acquire the game from somewhere and you can buy it from rockstar store so yeah there's that now here for this game it says you're gonna have to just copy the game files by heading over into the ports folder and then just into the gta 3 folder again you're gonna follow the same step like i've said you're gonna just look for the gta 3 on portmaster through your device and then just install the game files the game data files then connect your memory card you're going to find a gta 3 folder head over into that folder paste all the game install game files and you'll be ready to go you're all set so yeah that's basically it that's basically how you install commercial games on portmaster each of these game installation procedure is going to be different all right let's take out our memory card and jump right into the system i still am yet to tell you guys which is the preferred firmware for portmaster in order to get the best portmaster experience so stick around for that now you're gonna head over to explore content and head over into the ports folder now this here is where we are gonna find all our games so there you go this here is bot vice run this game as easy as that game is up and running you know what i'm saying nice i love these pixelated shooters man i love these games also it has a nice wow with the voice acting and everything just for two dollars and something cents i mean it's on discount so yeah there you go And a button to shoot the handgun button placements are different but the button mapping are the same we're gonna start the demonstration very quick this is basically how you install games and I'm gonna show you guys the Grand Theft Auto 3 game I'm gonna talk about another one more game then we're gonna talk about which is the preferred custom firmware to run Portmaster on and then we're gonna wrap this video up all right so let's start with some game demonstrations shall we before that let's take a KitKat break Mm, tasty now that breaks over let's start with Abe's adventure now this is a free-to-play game it's one of those ready-to-run ports I don't know how to defeat these enemies Oh yeah! What is out of banana? Oh, okay. Those are obstacles. Oh, it's a cute little ducky looking for bananas. I don't know what to do here. Well, you figure it out yourself.
Oh, it's a cat. Meow. Oh, Sprinkly Winkly is enjoying his day in the garden. Suddenly he was attacked, and so begins his epic tale. Level start! Hey, yo, let's teach these ruffians not to mess with family. Family, family. It's all about family. I don't get what this game is about, but since there's cats, it's cute. Okay, so for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, for the very first time, is going to need to recompile the game data, the install game data files, and that's gonna take as long as 15 minutes. Any time that will range from 15 to 20 minutes, but that's only for the first time, is going to ask you if you want to recompile the game file, and that's going to take a little bit of time. After that, it doesn't take that much long for the game to start up. Okay, let's talk about the most recommended way to run Portmaster on in order to get the best kind of experience. Now I would recommend using either stock OS because Anbernic already released two different updates, two or three different updates if I'm not wrong, which adds in more support for the newer games of Portmaster, including this game and Grand Theft Auto 3. Shovel Knight is also another game. I have always stated, I have always emphasized and I cannot emphasize more. Stock OS is the best, the preferred way to go if you want to get an out of box, straight up experience when it comes to getting a complete emulation and it's only gonna get better. With the recent updates from Anbernic, it's kinda shady with what they're doing by including these commercial titles. They are not supposed to do that but I'm not gonna get into details on that. I'm pretty sure on the future Anbernic devices they're not going to include these commercial titles. It's not the right thing to do or the right way to go. But when you're trying to go for custom firmware, I would definitely recommend sticking to Moo OS if you want to experience Portmaster games because Mo OS is flawless when it comes to Portmaster games if you're looking to stick with a custom firmware. Even though there's lots of improvements that needs to be done in terms of the emulation experience, UI and uh, overall custom firmware experience, but I already made a separate video on that where I explain how to install followed by a quick demonstration and overview along with my personal impressions about the custom firmware. So you can check that out by visiting the link in the description. The latest version and the base version of Moo OS is refried beans that's the one that I show on that video even though there is an update that you need to perform on refried beans so you need to have refried beans installed if you want to perform that update I'm running all these games these Portmaster games on refried beans and you can see that it, they run flawlessly so definitely Moo OS is the way to go Batocera I don't know if it's my own personal experience or not but I tried running Portmaster on Batocera the latest build the newly build of Batocera and it was horrible it was not good the game was lagging like a dial-up connection I wish I would have made a video on that but I did not and that's my recommendation either stick to stock firmware or Moo OS. That's basically what I had to say. Okay, so that's basically it with the Portmaster tutorial and impressions video and it's a very cool application. Lots of support, lots of amazing interesting titles are available that are made available and will be made available. So check this out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and found it helpful, make sure to drop in a like and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Join me on my live stream. And uh, if you want to say hi, stick around, hang around and have a chat with me if you want to. Just check out my other contents. I'm going to be back with more hopefully. Let's wrap this one up. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Dr. Root 7 signing off. Peace.